have a winner. Only one, Chris Walton. I could use a lifeline, but I'm gonna go with A. James Dean. He's going for it. Final answer. Final answer. James Dean, the right answer for sixty-four thousand dollars. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Well, Chris Walter was on quite a roll last night. He fought off the urge, you know, to use a lifeline, and now sitting pretty is he with all three of his lifelines left. Chris is just four questions away from winning $1 million. <laughs> it's kind of a heady feeling, I'll bet. How's this money going to change your life? You know, I think the first thing I'm going to do is catch up on my sleep because, yeah. uh, first of all, I, I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work because sure. I do a morning radio show. In case you missed the show last time, but Chris works at a radio station in Boise, Idaho, does the early morning news reports. And also the last couple of nights I haven't been able to sleep at all anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I'm um, probably going to get a new car. Either that or fix up my 85 Mercury. <laughs> no, I'm going to get a new car. Are you going to get a new car? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and last night, Sherry, how was you feeling? Sherry, his wife, sitting back there. He was doing, he was pretty calm. We were both kind of just sort of excited to where, that he got where he got yeah. so far. All right, well, good luck to you. Now, if you feel like playing along at home, log on to ABC.com right now and click on to our Enhanced TV game. Chris has won $64,000. Four questions, as we say, from winning one million. He has all three lifelines left, 50-50. Ask the audience, and he can phone a friend. All right, Chris, ready to go? Ready as I'm going to get. Audience, are you ready? We're all ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, here we go for $125,000. The scientific study of human settlements is called what? Ethology, Teflology, Echistics, Isagogics. I do not know the answer to this. I'm going to have to go with a lifeline. I'm going to do phone a friend. And I hope, I, I hope he knows it. I'm going to go with Jasper. What does Jasper do? Uh, Jasper is a professor at Albertson College in Idaho. Teaching? He teaches political science, but he might know this. Might know it. Let's get Jasper on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hey, Jasper, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, Regis Philbin calling from The Millionaire Show. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Well, that's good. I we guess so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all ahead of you. We have uh, Chris here. He needs your help. He's got a tough question with four possible answers in 30 seconds to tell you all about it. You're on. Jasper, the scientific study of human settlements is called what? Ethology, Tiflology, Echistics, Isagogics. <laughs> this is out of my area. Go uh, through them again. The scientific study of human settlements is called what? Ethology, Tiflology, Echistics, Isagogics. Well, I wouldn't know. I would say maybe, maybe the first one, but I'm not sure at all. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to happen. Well, it's a very, very tough question. Okay, I'd like to use another lifeline. This time 50-50. Why don't we now row it down, computer? Please take away two of the wrong ones. I'm gonna go ahead and ask the audience. I'm gonna use my final lifeline. Okay, audience, we got one for you. Need your help. On your keypads, using A or C, vote now. Well, they heard Professor Jasper yeah. say he thought it might be that. 
You narrowed it down, you still it's still there. That's right. I really wish I knew more about the roots of these words. Mythology and acoustics. Just nothing's coming. You know. we can always take the sixty-four thousand, Chris. I think I'm going to go for it. Okay. I think I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I know it's a big I'm decision. I'm not sure I'm going to go for it, but I think I am. The professor thought maybe ethology. And I'm not going to blame it on him if I don't get it right. I think I'm going to say A, ethology. It seems to me, I don't know, ETH, it's like the beginning of ethnicity. It, it, it tends to mean to me groups that are grouped together for whatever reason, and maybe a settlement is one of those groups. And maybe I'm completely out of my mind. I don't know. A, ethology. Final answer. Final answer. No, it's oh. acoustics. It's acoustics. So sorry. Oh boy. I'm sorry, old buddy. It's all right. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. That was a toughie, no doubt about it. Well, ethology is the study of animal behavior, but $32,000, still great money. And don't worry, Professor Jasper, Chris won't hold you responsible. All right, now it's time to meet tonight's contestants who would love to settle into our hot seat. And they are Tony DeTora, Daytona Beach, Florida, Sally York, Flushing, Michigan, Mari Dresden, Churchill, Boise, Idaho, Steve Meheisen, Indianapolis, Jason Rodriguez, St. Petersburg, Florida, Debbie Middleman, Tempe, Arizona, Marianne Rosen, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, Taylor Teasdale, Royal Oak, Michigan, and Trevor Pyle, Smithville, Missouri, and Delane Foss, Austin, Texas. Okay, welcome everybody to the show. Now let's uh, see that first fastest finger question coming up right now. But these people, in the order they first became members of the U.S. cabinet, started with the earliest. Colin Powell, Elizabeth Dole, Caspar Weinberger, Janet Reno. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. And it was Caspar Weinberger. And then Elizabeth Dole, Janet Reno, Colin Powell. That's the right order. Who got it at the fastest time? Let's see, the winner is Trevor Pyle. Trevor, congratulations, good Thank for you. you. When we come back, Trevor's going for a million dollars. So the winner is Trevor Pyle from Smithville, Missouri. That's just outside of Kansas City. Nice to have you here. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you do? Well, I just finished my first year as a graduate student in the Defense and Strategic Studies program at Southwest Missouri State University. Mm -hmm. It's a variation of international relations. We deal primarily with uh, foreign policy, defense issues, we work with a lot of contractors, that type of thing. It's and how are you spending work. the summer? I'm working as an intern for a private uh, think tank um, doing 
things that intern work does. I can't really talk about a lot of it, but... Top secret. Yeah, I'd have to kill you. You're a top secret guy. <laughs> And you're accompanied by your mom, Mary. Nice to have you here, Mary. Oh, thank you very much. I'm what, happy to be here. What's it like to have a top secret son? Oh, you know, I can't talk about it. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Nobody can talk about it. All right, well, good enough, Trevor. We're go glad you're here. You know the rules by now. You know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Trevor Pyle. $100. What things often turn beautiful shades of yellow, orange, and red during the fall? Clouds, rocks, leaves, Dennis Rodman's hair. Well, uh, let's see, leaves, final answer. That's it, the leaves. He got it for 100, and here comes the question for $200. Dog sled races usually take place on land covered with what? Snow, grass, sand, speed bumps. Uh, that'd be A, snow, final answer. And you got that one too for 200. There it is now for $300. A person meeting and talking with people in his profession is doing what? Surfing, franchising, networking, sowing wild oats. <laughs> well, actually, I've been doing this a lot this summer already. I'd uh, be networking, uh, C, final answer. You got that too for $300. Here we go for 500 Trevor. A musician often wears a shoulder strap when playing which of these instruments? Guitar, clarinet, violin, trombone. Uh, that would be A, guitar, final answer. Yes, guitar for 500. <laughs> and now he's going for $1,000. How many signs make up the zodiac? Six, 10, 12, 16. That would be uh, 12, C, final answer. Yes, 12 signs in the zodiac. All right, Trevor, get ready now. Here it is for $2,000. On the TV sitcom All in the Family, what is Archie Bunker's nickname for his son-in-law, Mike? Meathead, Stinkweed, Mr. Burpee, Dirtbag. Well, if it was in the 90s, it might be something else, but in the 70s, it was uh, Meathead. That's A, final answer. That's what he called him, Meathead. <laughs> going for $4,000, and here it is. According to American folklore, Daniel Boone wears what type of hat? Stetson, bearskin, bowler, raccoon skin. It's, uh, raccoon skin, D, final answer. Yes, Daniel Boone wore the raccoon skin type hat. $8,000. For over 100 years, people have ridden made of the mist boats to tour what natural attraction? Niagara Falls, Lake Tahoe, Grand Canyon, Florida Everglades. It's uh, Niagara Falls, A, final answer. That's it, Niagara Falls, made of the middle. Big tourist attraction. Trevor, you're going for $16,000, take a look. Inventor and scientist Nikola Tesla is best known for his work in what field? Quantum mechanics? Electrical science, aeronautics, biochemistry. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Um, Tesla coil. It's a big electricity, electric thing. Um, so we go with B, electrical science, final answer. Yes, got it, for $16,000. This guy's on fire. Here it comes now for $32,000. In the T.S. Eliot poem, The Wasteland, what is the cruelest month? January, April, August, December. Checking out the audience. Um, Um, it's 250-50. Computer, would you take away two of those wrong answers? The 
cruelest month, April or August. I have an idea, but <clears throat> I'm not certain, so let's ask the audience. Okay, audience, we need your help here. If you're ready, on your keypads, using B or C, vote now. Almost a split, but April takes it by five percentage. Yeah. Um... B, April, final answer. Got it for $32,000. Okay, he's got a lifeline left. Five away from the union. We'll be back. <laughs> Trevor Pyle, a graduate student in uh, defense and strategic studies from uh, Southwest Missouri State University in the hot seat right now, completing an internship in Washington for a uh, a top secret uh, private consulting firm. What, what did you do before all this, Trevor? Uh, well, the most exciting job I probably had was I was a, a card dealer in a casino for about two and a half years. Really? Where is that? Uh, I, in the Midwest. It was mm -hmm. a riverboat casino in the Midwest. And uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, met a lot of very interesting people. Got to deal to a few famous people, you know, which was very interesting. And uh, dealt everything but craps and roulette. You gambled yourself a little bit? I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You are. Yeah. And how did you do as a gambler, man? Did all right. Um, once I once I won about five thousand dollars playing blackjack, mm -hmm. uh, and was, I was just on an incredible run and uh, got to one point and I said, "Okay, I'm gone." I got out of there with with most of the money, so I felt pretty good about it. But for it. you, let's yeah. hope you get out of here with most of the money too. I got out of here with some of it. So. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's get all right. back to it, Trevor. You're doing fine. You're going for sixty-four thousand. One lifeline. Let's play. What country is known as Cymru to those who speak its native tongue? Romania, Scotland, Albania, Wales. You say that again. What country is known as Cymru to those who speak its native tongue? Cymru. Okay, I have an idea. Um... Got like a free guess here. Yeah, yeah. You got. Uh, because the way you pronounce it, the way it was, so I think um, we're gonna go. Sounds Welsh to me for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, Romania. It's a Romance language, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. Scotland, I know they speak some Gaelic, but Welsh just feels good to me. And You're a gambler, man, remember? Exactly. And so I'm gambling that I'm going to make it and not need that lifeline on it and use it the next round. So I'm going to say D, Wales, final answer. Just won $64,000. Trevor Pyle battling his way back. He's four questions away from one million, going for one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Here it is. Hmm. Automysophobia is the fear of being what? Alone, dirty, sick, bitten. I have an idea. But I'm going to use a phone friend. I'm going to call Keith. What does Keith do? Keith is my roommate from college. He's out in California this year uh, doing a summer job. All right, fine. You want Keith? You're going to get him. AT&T, Keith. Hello? Keith, Hello, Keith. Yes. How you doing? Regis Philbin here from New York City. How are you? Uh, doing all right. That good, huh? Well, yeah. that's good. Well, Trevor here is doing just fine. He's going for $125,000. Awesome. And uh, looking for help from you. Okay. Good, Keith. Thank you. Uh, Trevor, he's all yours, and you've got 30 seconds. 
Keith, A-U-T-O-M-Y-S-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. What is that? What are the choices? Alone, dirty, sick, or beaten. It's a phobia. Uh, alone, what are, again? Alone, dirty, sick, or bitten. Five seconds. Okay, oh, that keeps. Next fall. Okay. I have 64. Going for 125. I'm Missed done. Missed, you'll go away with 32. I'm done. Could to leave with 64. I'm done. Okay, you're done. I'm done. Want to take a guess here? If, if I was going to take a guess, I would say D bitten. You would say what? Bitten. Bitten? And the answer would have been dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Had no idea. Just as well. Yeah. 64,000. Nice meeting you, Trevor. Good luck to you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. $64,000. Yeah, our gambling man from the Smithville, Missouri, knew when to walk away from the table. Good luck to Trevor with all that top secret stuff, too. All right, now let's roll the dice again with the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. With these food products in the order they were first introduced, started with the earliest. Jello, Haggadah's ice cream, Power Bar, Wheaties. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, and it was Jell-O, and then Wheaties, haagen and Power Bar. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right the fastest time. All right, the winner is Debbie. Debbie Middleman gonna go for a million dollars when we come back and she means it. <laughs> Debbie Middleman from Tempe, Arizona. She's an attorney and mother of two, and it's nice to have you here. Thank you so in the much. Hot seat. I'm really excited. You were very excited to win. I'm really excited, and I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and you're accompanied by your twin sister, they tell me. That's right, my sister there Kathy. There she is over there. Kathy, nice to have you here. Thanks for Kathy is a jewelry designer. Yes, she and is. And you're an attorney. Yes, that's and true. And you've got a lovely necklace on, I presume. Okay. Kathy made that for you. As a present, because I made it on the show. Oh, that's terrific. Right, <laughs> you know about the rules, you know about the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Debbie Middle. We start again with that $100 question. An unlucky outcome is often dismissed with the words, that's the way the ball does what? Deflates, bounces, dribbles, drops at midnight. I will go with B, bounces. That's the way it bounces. You're right, for $100. And now, Debbie, comes the question for $200. What is normally found in shakers on a dinner table? Ketchup and mustard? Oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, arsenic and old lace. <laughs> In my house, that's usually salt and pepper. I'll go with C, final answer. And you got $200. Salt and pepper, of course. $300. The process of burning trash is called what? Littering, incineration, mulching, cookout. <laughs> I'll go with B, incineration. Final answer. You're right, for 300 incineration. Here it is, Debbie, for $500. If a person does not believe your story, he will sometimes say, tell it to whom? Your mom, a doctor, the mailman, the Marines. <laughs> um, huh, it sort of reminds me of the talk to the hand that the kids say, but I'm going to go with mailman C. Final answer. Debbie, tell it to the Marines. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Tell oh. it to the Marines, not the mailman. Gee, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, well. One of those nights, Debbie. It I'm was really nice sorry. To meet you nice anyway. meeting you. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. This way, Debbie. Thank you.
Well, listen, I really hate to say this, but sometimes that's the way the ball bounces. Too bad, but we hope uh, Debbie enjoys her stay here in New York. She's a nice lady. All right, contestants, you get one more chance, and here comes the next fastest finger question. Put these bodies of water in geographic order, starting in California and going east. Caspian Sea, Great Salt Lake, North Sea, Bay of Bengal. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in California, going east. Great Salt Lake, and then North Sea. And Caspian Sea, and finally the Bay of Bengal. That's the right order. Who has it in the fastest time? Let's see. Winner is Steve. Steve Smeeheisen from Indianapolis, Indiana. He is a house painter. That's correct. Yeah, with that tan and that shirt, you look more like a surfer dude from the Laguna Beach. <laughs> That'd be okay, too. Yeah. How long have you been working in Indianapolis? Oh, 35 years. All your life. Like you been painting yeah. houses, huh? What is the number one color preferred by the public? Hmm. One of these blues, probably. Yeah? Blue. Still a good color, huh? Always. And you got nice blue eyes, too, Steve. Oh, thank you, sir. You're an attractive guy. Hey! <laughs> so are you, sir. Well, thank you. <laughs> we don't need any stinking million dollars. Let's, Let's get, out, get of here. out of here. <laughs> All right. Shall we go to work here? Let's Come go. on, let's go for it. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play who wants to be a millionaire. $100 question. Someone who makes a spontaneous remark is said to be speaking off the what? Track? Hook, cuff, teleprompter. Cuff, C, final answer. Got it for $100. Coming now is the $200 question. Take a look. What pet's diet often consists of seeds? Dog, cat, bird, underwear model. <laughs> A bird, C, final answer. Yeah, the birds. They love those seeds. Here it is for $300. Which of these words means contrary to nature, reason, or common sense? Preposterous, logical, charitable, professional wrestling. Contrary, uh, that would be a preposterous, final answer. Yes, preposterous, you win 300. Here it is, Steve, for $500. Which of the following is not a make of car? Saab, Digby. Volvo, Fiat. Digby B, final answer. And that's the right answer. Digby, not an make of a car. You won 500. Coming now, $1,000. What country's nickname is the Great White North? Sweden, Finland, Canada, Russia. Don't know it. Okay. Let's ask the audience. Why do we do that? Audience, we need some help for Steve. What country's nickname is the Great White North? If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Forty-nine percent say Canada. Finland came in second at twenty-five percent. Great White North. Half and two to one, though. I had that thought myself. Let's go with C, Canada. Final answer. Yes, for $1,000, he's got it. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to take a break, and when we get back, Steve is going to go for $2,000. Steve Zvihaisen from Indianapolis, Indiana. He's a house painter, and he's in the hot seat right now, and he's won $1,000. And he's accompanied by his girlfriend, Kathy. Kathy, how are you? I'm just fine, Regis. Nice to meet you. Thanks. How long have you been dating Steve? Um, 20 years this July. 20 years? <laughs> My gosh, Kathy, that's a long time to be in mm -hmm. courtship. 
<laughs> and what are your plans about this? Well, I'd, I'd like to get to meet her and lower her a little better. <laughs> How long does it take you to paint a house? <laughs> Quite some time, a kid. 20 was. years. Well, Kathy, but it's never been a dull moment. I could just tell looking not. at this guy. Absolutely this is a not. barrel of laughs. He's a great guy. This he is really a lot is. of fun. What do you think? You win a million bucks, maybe? I'll ask her tonight. If you yes. win a million? Yes. If he wins a million bucks. You're going to yes. ask her tonight, win or lose a million dollars? No, I should win. <laughs> You used to know a friend of mine back in Indianapolis, uh, David Letterman. Oh, yes. Yeah? yeah? Do you uh, have Dave, some uh, uh, pool games with him? Indeed. Uh, a little place in Broad Ripple, uh, not far from Connors Pub, is called the uh, Patio Bar. Yeah? I was underage, so... Uh, you say Letterman's older than you? A little bit, yeah. 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 Um, I beat him one time. Oh, and, I beat uh, him all the time. He said, you're not old enough. Get out of here. <laughs> he still owes me a beer. Oh, is that right? That's right. He, he ran out on the bed, huh? Uh-huh. All right. Well, now, look, Steve, let's go all the way, okay? okay. You look like the kind of guy, a million dollars, be great if you could win it. You're 10 away from the million. You've got two lifelines left. We're going for 2,000. Let's play. $2,000, what is the name of a famous tribe of women warriors in Greek mythology? Amazons. Muses. Gorgons. Harpies. I'm going to say A, Amazon's final answer. Yes, for $2,000. 4000 In a 1960s song made popular by Dusty Springfield, what person is related to a preacher man? A wife, son, daughter, brother. That was on the jukebox at Connor's Pub for years and years. Might still be, and that is the son of a preacher man. B, final answer. Son of a gun, you're right. It's $4,000. Oh, $8,000 coming up, Steve. What type of food is muesli? Cereal, cake, stew, salad. That would be a cereal, final answer. Got it for $8,000. Little dry cereal and fruit mixture. 16 grand. In the 2001 movie Pearl Harbor, which of these actors portrays a real life hero? Ben Affleck, Dan Aykroyd, Josh Harnett, Cuba Gooding Jr. A real life hero. Someone who was actually there. Oh. Well, that would have to be C, Josh Hartnett. Final answer. Oh, no, Steve Arena. It's Cuba. Well, you leave with $1,000. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Steve. Okay. Good luck. Okay. A night full of surprises. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was Cuba Gooding Jr. who played Dory Miller, who was a true hero at Pearl Harbor. But Steve goes home with $1,000. Good guy. All right, contestants, guess what? It's not over yet. And here's the next fastest finger question. Put these bands in the order they had their first Billboard Top 40 single, starting with the earliest. A flock of seagulls, wings, the black rose, the yard birds. Okay, we're all done back here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest band, and it was the yard birds, then wings, then a flock of seagulls, and finally the black rose, and that's the right order. Now let's get a winner here. The winner is Tony. Tony DeTora from Daytona Beach, uh, Florida. Actually, he's a graduate student. Yes. At what school? Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Uh-huh. And you're studying what? Um, I'm working on my master's in business. This is another life for you, isn't it? Well, it is. I have a previous bachelor's degree in uh, performing arts, and then I went to Embry-Riddle and got a bachelor's in aerospace engineering. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, my master's degree is actually being covered by a presidential fellowship that I won, and I get to work for the university president. Dr. Well, how nice. Very good guy. Congratulations. Thank good you. for you. All right, glad you're here, Tony. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Billionaire with Tony Detroit. Let's see how you can do, Tony. Been a wild night around here. Take a deep breath. Here it comes, the $100 question. What elephant part has the same name as a type of luggage? Ear, tusk, trunk, rump. Well, of all the luggage types I'm familiar with, um, I'm going to have to go with uh, C, trunk. Final answer. And you're right. It's a trunk. It's $100. And here it is now for $200. If yesterday was Saturday, what is today? Sunday? Friday? Monday? The best day ever. <laughs> I'm tempted to go with D, but um, I'm going to go with A, Sunday. Final answer. You bet. You got it for $200. Coming up, $300. How many groups of 10 are in 100? Two, five, 10. Ask the major G. Um, <laughs> that's funny. I'm gonna go with uh, C, 10, final answer. And you're right, it's 10. He's up to $500. Which of the following commercial characters is not featured in ads for a food product? Captain Crunch, Fruit of the Loom guys, Diggum, Green Giant. Um, the Fruit of the Loom guys are actually in a uh, underwear ad. Uh, so I pick B, final answer. Yes, you're right, Fruit of the Loom guys. <laughs> Tony, going for a thousand. What stadium is known as the house that Ruth built? Astrodome, Candlestick Park, Fenway Park, Yankee Stadium. Well, I don't recognize any of those other parks because I'm a Yankees fan. D, Yankee Stadium, final answer. You know you're Yankees. You're right for $1,000. Well, we're going to take a break. We're going to make it back. Then it goes on for 2000 Tony DeTora, another graduate student from Daytona Beach in the hot seat right now. 1000 going for 2000 Accompanied by his friend, Kathy. Nice to see you, Kathy. Hi, How long have you known Tony? About 15 years. 15 years. Yeah, he you went to high school with my brother. Must have been teenagers, huh? Eh? Yeah. Hmm. So you're very interested in space, huh? Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm on the board of this group, ProSpace, and we organize citizens to go to Washington annually to lobby for uh, legislation that we think will help open the frontier of space to the American people. It's going to be an expensive proposition, isn't it? At first, absolutely. But we think if we can get more people involved, the price can come down, and then it can open up for everyone. I take it you're dying to get up there? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> you like everything about being up there, right? You skydive, you... Yes. <laughs> um, I haven't gone in a while, but I'd like to get back to skydiving. I decided to pay for college instead of, you know, yeah. skydiving. Some people think that was a bad decision. <laughs> no, no, I think it's a good, good decision. <laughs> All right, well, look, you want a thousand, we're going for two thousand. Let's play with Tony Gentile. <laughs> what is the term for water that contains high levels of calcium, magnesium, and similar elements? Heavy water? Casual water, forge water, hard water. Well, I've never heard of casual or forge water. Um, hard water makes sense, and heavy water is, I think, nuclear. Um, so I'm going to go with D, hard water. Final answer. Yes, hard water. Two thousand dollars. Coming up, $4,000. In internet lingo, LOL normally stands for which of the following? Laugh out loud. Log off later. Love it or leave it. Land of the lost. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many people got that reference. But um, laugh out loud, A, final answer. Got it again for $4,000. All right, Tony, we're sneaking up on the $8,000 question. The 1989 Jeff Widener photo of a single protester standing before a row of tanks was taken where? Red Square, Tiananmen Square, Berlin Wall, Gaza Strip. Well, that was during the student protests in um, China, which B, Tiananmen Square, final answer. Got it for $8,000. Way to go. Oh, the last.
that sound means we're out of time for tonight, but Tony will be back here with more contestants who would love to endorse a $1 million check. And they are Gary Bonsella, Jennifer Sims, Colin Bacon, David Cochran, Stephen Serbat, John Erickson, Pam Main, T.C. Altus, Deborah Livingston, and Jamie Johnson. Primetime Thursday coming up next from ABC News, so don't go anywhere. Tomorrow night, we have a special encore presentation of our college edition. Be sure to tune in. And Tony will be back on Sunday night at 9, 8 central. From New York, everybody, good night. <laughs> <laughs>